Hi guys, welcome back to The Den, and it's Q&A time again. Alright, so welcome back to another excellent Saturday here on The Den. So we're continuing the Q&A week once again, and this time, it's yours truly. Alright, so Jake would like to know, I want to make a good first impression to a friend I'm seeing relatively soon. How would you make a good first impression? I would tread lightly on certain topics such as politics, unless you really know the person and you can joke about that sort of thing. Um, definitely just be yourself. That's that's the most important thing, because the last thing you want to be is a fake-ass bitch, because then you have to keep up the facade for God only knows how long, and it's exhausting. So just be yourself. That's the most important factor. Ben asks, what is my biggest musical guilty pleasure? Don't judge me but I absolutely love, and I don't know why. She only ever put out two albums. She, she, Lady Sovereign. I don't know why. I absolutely love her. I know every song that she's put out front to back. It's disgusting, but I love her. Clinton asks, This question is for all the guys. Doing these videos are a lot of work. They take time to shoot and edit. What motivates you to keep going? I'm really enjoying myself with these videos. Uh, since I've joined, I've found myself I, I, I'm more open. Um, I'm not as shy as I was. And definitely there's things that I need to work with as far as my presentation. Um, not so film noir as, uh, as Spencer put it, but no, I, I'm finding, finding it easier to be more open and expressive and, and I'm more comfortable with myself. So, so that's my main motivation for doing it. Clinton also wants to know, in what direction do we see the channel going? I personally would love to see little, uh, like, side projects on the den. If you've ever seen the Geek and Sundry channel, how they have their own little shows and little feeds and stuff, I would absolutely love to do something like that. It started out as a vlog for Felicia Day and then has branched off into other shows, and I would absolutely love to do something similar to that and maybe do like crafting on the den or you know something other than just a vlog style every week. John wants to know if I were a donut what would my flavor be? I'm gonna have to go with the obvious one here a bear claw. David asks if you had a blank check to travel anywhere in the world and had to take one of your fellow hosts where would you go who would you take and why? I would absolutely love to go to Iceland. I don't know any of the guys from the den that would want to go somewhere like Iceland. Um, I guess I would have to kidnap one of them and just drag them along. So, I don't know. I think uh, I think Greg might be a good traveling companion. He seems pretty funny. Um, Ralph wants to know, how big is too big? I think if you get to the point where you can't comfortably take care of yourself, then that might be as an indication that you're too big. Um, I myself at one point went through a lot of depression and was at my biggest 345 pounds and I went vegan, lost a lot of the weight. I mean I still have some weight to me obviously but I think as long as you're comfortable with yourself and you don't require some wheelchair or something to get around because of some factor other than just sheer size. Aaron's Jogstrap would like to know, if I was a drag queen, what would my name be? I would probably have to go something really cheesy, like Roseanne Barr, but Roseanne Bear. John Dickinson wants to know, what movie am I most looking forward to this year? Without a doubt, Warcraft. I cannot wait for this movie. Duncan Jones is a phenomenal director and so far, all the previews, all the trailers I've seen look like they're going to really stand up. Initially, I was skeptical with all the green suits, how everything was going to play out. Because as we know, in Alice in Wonderland, the green suits looked a little off on a few characters. But no, it definitely looks really good, and I can't wait to see Warcraft. Dave would like to know, at what point on the calendar do you boys say we're over winter? I don't know if it's specifically something calendar related, but I know once I've had to shovel, watch the plow plow me back in, and then shovel again, winter's done in my mind. I am done. Being bears, do you feel some type of discrimination from other homosexuals? Not really. 
initially yes because we're bigger obviously and like the smaller twinks and all that have like size issues clearly um but no um not generally the only subset of gays that i've really ever had issues with believe it or not are lipstick lesbians and i think the reason for that is because i'm so straight acting um i for lack of a better term because i'm so masculine i guess um, I don't come across as gay, even the people that I, that know I'm gay are quite surprised. So, generally, we'll have couples of, like, lipstick lesbians come into the store, and for some reason, me being nice to them, they attribute that with me flirting with them and hitting on them, and I'm not. I'm really not. Get your ego in check. Tommy wants to know... How do you stay furry and fabulous without the LGBT bashing headlines or politics of the week getting you down? I try not to pay too much attention to the politics because I know a lot of it is short term. Uh, progress is progress. We've all had to deal with bullshit throughout the years. Just look for the silver lining in everything. That's, that's my best advice would be to look for the silver lining in everything. Aiden Bostira, I hope I pronounced that right, would like to know what color are my eyes? They are bluish, greenish, with a gold ring around the center. I don't know if you can see very well, but they are bluish, greenish. Some days they're more blue, some days they're more green. Luke wants to know, will Men of the Den ever have a round table of past and current members? I would love to do something like that. I think that would be really great. See the progress. Um, how everything's gone on, how everything's changed. I think it would be really cool to get some input from the guys uh, that used to be on the show and see what they what they think of how we're doing on the show. I think it would be a neat concept, definitely. And the last two questions here are from Colin. So Colin says, as a long-term long-haired bear, I've noticed the long-standing almost animosity to long hair in the bear community has lessened over the past few years. Has the community become more accepting of this, or have I just started chatting to better men? I think you've just started chatting to better men. And by the way, share the wealth. So the final question from Colin. What's my favorite beer? I am not a big drinker. When I do drink, it depends on my mood. My two favorites would have to be Rickard's Red and Guinness Extra Stout Dark. Ice cold. Absolutely delicious. All right, so that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Next week, we're doing our Arts and Crafts Week, so look forward to that, and I'll see you next week. Have a great day, guys. Take care.